Hey guys, Lou here from LT's Custom Woodworks. Welcome to the shop. Today is going to be another day. Today I'm going to start on the boat build, or should I say shelf build that's shaped like a boat. Um, the height of the boat is, um, the overall is 60 in height, 24 in width, 10 inches deep. The 10 inches deep, that might change a little bit in, in width. We'll see how it goes. Customer had um, sent me a picture of what she wants it to look like and measurements. There's no plans. There's no uh, uh, dimensions for any of the, the cuts. I didn't uh, take the time to design them. So I'm just going to wing this one. Um, shouldn't be that hard, that difficult, according to looking at the pictures, maybe about four or five components and that's it, besides the shelves. So I'm going to start with cutting the back part. Uh, once I get the five feet tall in the back, uh, for height wise and two feet wide, I'll do my glue up today, tomorrow I'll take it out of the clamps and then I'll start to shape the shape of the boat. I'll cut that out and then I can start on the sides and the shelving. So uh, the, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna cut some one by fours. That's gonna be the backing because she wants to have that rustic look. Um, so I'm gonna cut them on the, on the uh, miter saw. I'm gonna router off the edges. I'm gonna sand them down and I'm gonna think I'm gonna biscuit joint these together. I can use pocket hole screws from the back but I'm gonna choose not to do it that way. I'm gonna use dominoes and uh, go from there. So. Um, I'll get started on cutting those and we'll uh, take it off from there. Okay, now that I sanded these down, I'm just going to put a slight chamfer. I'm going to use a, a, a quarter inch round over bit. I'm just going to slightly round the top facing inside the cabinet. The, uh, according to the picture there that I saw, it looks like it's got a bit of a, uh, a roundness on the edges just to give it that rustic look. So I'm just going to round the edges just on the one side only. The back side doesn't matter, just the one side. Okay, now that I got my orientation of my boards the way I want it to look, I flipped them upside down and I'm going to start to mark for my dominoes. On something that's five feet like this, I'm going to put, I'll put one on each end for sure. So I'll go all the way up like that. I'll put five on each board. Now I also numbered from one to seven all the way up. That way, when I do my glue up, these lines all have to line up. You don't want to start scrambling to where the dominoes are going to fit with the next board because you don't have that much time when you're starting to do a glue up. 
it's um, um, you know something like this you got to be quick and clamp it into place before the glue dries so that's why I numbered from one to seven I can remove these set my clamps up once I put the boards back down I can line up these numbers from one to seven and I know that when I do my domino in each mark everything's gonna line up properly when I clamp the other board into place so I am going to get that set up and then we are ready to rock and roll Now before I do that, I'm just going to get my, I'm going to clean this up here. I'm going to get my domino machine ready. Get it all uh, set up for the three quarter inch because I think right now it's set up for the inch and a half. Okay, I'm going to start to cut my uh, dominoes in and then we're going to get set up for the clamp. I'm going to put all the dominoes in first and then I'll run a bead of glue down the uh, down the center just makes it a little bit easier I'll let this sit overnight, then I'll take it out of the clamps and give it a, a, a light sand and go from there. Okay, so now I'm going to cut the backing to width. Uh, the width needs to be 24 inches. Right now this is sitting at uh, 24 and a half inches. Then I have 3 16 plywood on each side. I got to allow for that. So I'm going to cut evenly on each side of this backing unit. Uh, that way, once I put my sides on, the width will be 24 inches. So I'm going to get my uh, table saw set up and I'll start ripping this down to the size I need. Now that I have the backing cut, 
I have a um, tiny little strip here that I cut. It's eighth, eighth of an inch thick. And this is what's going to determine the shape of this boat. And I'll just trace the outside of it. Um, so the first thing to do is to figure out where the center is on here. So I'm going to take the center board and I'm going to divide that in half. So this is three and a half. I will divide this in half. And that's going to be my starting point to where this is going to be. Once I line that half with that, I'm going to curve that wherever this line is going to be here. I will do the same thing on this side and then I will cut it out on the outside of the line. And then I will sand it to the line and that's going to give me my shape. Now on that other end, that bottom part of the boat shelf, it's not going to be in the center because the way shape, the boat is shaped, it's a little bit wider on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drive a screw at the top here and that will act, I can clamp this to it. I will clamp that these might be a little too and let's see what we get here now it's just in preference on what looks best at this bottom end What you want to do is you want to line this up to the end in the middle. So I measured, this is five feet long, I measured 2.6 down. And you don't want to go over that. I'm thinking center of this second board and I think that would be the right curvature that I need. So I'm just going to clamp this down and you got to take your time with it and just figure out what you think looks best. Then I'm going to line my halfway mark that I marked on that side with the line that I have halfway down on the board. Clamp that down. And again, there's so many different ways of doing this. I'm going to line it up to the 5 inch mark here, this other end. And I'm going to mark the outside of this board. So, this is the shape of the boat. And I will cut it out. I'm going to use the, the um, bandsaw to cut this out. And then uh, we can go from there on sanding it. I'll even sand the top one more time. Just so it uh, makes life a little bit easier before the shelves go in. 
Uh, once I do that, I'm gonna figure out where my shelves go. I'm gonna cut those first before I start cutting the sides. Uh, so I'll go ahead and cut this out and go from there. got its shape I'm going to sand it down to the line just to get that nice curvature and then I will go from there so I'm going to take the time to uh, sand this I will cut it here um, if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit that like button uh, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video and I will see you on the continuation of the shelf boat build. Thanks for watching.